Hello and welcome to the fifth and final part of this Blender 2.91 fireplace series. In this part we will create animated light and quickly learn how to import a beautiful 2D fire to our 3D project. In the description you can find the music clip that was the reason I made a similar fireplace. Check it if you have any suggestions or anything there that you want me to make a tutorial about. Also if you want to buy the final project of the fireplace you can find the two in the description for three dollars to support the channel. Let's add a light inside. So we do shift A lights and point lights. Okay, here it is, G, Z, move it up like this, and is it in the center of our, uh, no, we could move it, G on the Y axis like this, and then move it a little bit up, or keep it this way. Let's uh, hide the other light here, so we have only our light in uh, action, in motion, in action, and uh, we go to the light properties and give it some orangey. yellow orangey look like this and we make it a little bit stronger like 50 watts now that's a lot 30 watts 20 just 20 is good 25 i think this is good uh, maybe i don't know play with this with the radius it looks good we could animate uh, the power uh, intensity if we want so we are here in frame one let's activate let's do our first animation let's activate the recording here and let's uh, add a keyframe here or uh, activate this animate property so we have our keyframe here and then we go to frame 10 maybe and uh, make it like 22 watts and then to frame 20 and again to 25 or 26 27 let's make it 27 and then back here to 21 maybe and then again here to 25 to our initial uh, value okay let's make the end of the animation in frame 40 and try to you see the light is changing I don't know if we need to make it slower or uh, I think slower would be better so select on all these frames we do S to resize and we resize these guys but first so that this guy the first guy doesn't move we move this playhead to the frame where our keyframe is and then we do S so the first keyframe doesn't move and we move it like to frame 60 the last one so now we resize our animation let's change the end to 60 and then we have this this is good now we'll open uh, the panel of uh, we'll add another panel by going here and then left click and then and then we choose the graph editor like this and then we hit this normalize just a little trick we hit n here and go to modifiers yeah there are modifiers for these graphs too so this graph represents the animation represents the uh, intensity of the light the power of the light is going down and up to like this you see uh, to 22 and then to 27 i don't know what we did and then back to 25 here so this is the graph of the animation and we will add a modifier to uh, repeat this animation uh, it's called cycles and I think this is all we need to do we added it and let's zoom out a little bit and we see that our animation is repeating and we will re it will repeat forever so the light will go flickering I don't know how to say it okay so to frame 20 if you animate now it will keep doing that forever because of the uh, cycles modifier so now there is only one thing to do we join these areas by uh, right click and then we do this okay okay one thing only to do is to add our fire to this scene uh, before we do that we need to go to preferences look for imports 
or anything uh, so this is our plugin import export import images as planes so we activate this we close this window and then we can do shift a image images as planes so here we, are, we will import our our mov file our uh, video with alpha you can find the link in the description and also the whole file of course the whole project uh, for three dollars but the file this file is for free uh, you can use it of course just give these guys a uh, credit for using it even for commercial use so uh, we change this before we import to emit instead of principled and we keep use alpha activated and we do import images as plain so here it is this is our image we can see it here if we change the view mode this is our fire our beautiful fire in ev so just to be clear uh, our spotlight we added we don't need it if we if we use cycles because uh, our fire will emit light but we will use uh, ev so we'll keep it like this so we select our fire we do G Z to uh, bring it up like this and then we do R for rotate Z rotate on the Z axis axis and do 90 on the keyboard enter and here we get our fire our beautiful fire we then do G Y to move it a little bit to the center like this there's almost only one thing to do is to go to the material panel for the fire and in the settings here we change alpha blend to alpha hashed even alpha blend works works but uh, it seems that alpha hashed as i saw in the original tutorial is better i don't know how, why if someone knows please let us know and we choose we change the shadow mode to nothing just known so that we don't see so the first time i forgot to uh, deactivate that so we see the the image we added is cast in shadow here and it's it's making these lines here on the wall so if you see these lines it means that uh there is the, that the image is cast in shadow so we just remove the shadow and bingo here is our beautiful fire uh let's check it on cycles let's change to cycles here it is let's uh, uh, deactivate our lights and see that the fire is cast in some light you see not much but if we go to uh, the shading panel here and we go to our nodes let's organize them a little bit so these nodes were made uh, automatically for us when you, we imported the image when we cho have chosen uh, the uh, the alpha and the uh, and the emit uh, feature instead of principal so we got these nodes and here in emission we have some strings of the emission what we're gonna do is just to uh, okay go to render preview we are on cycle still and if we give the emission more strange you will see more light cast on the walls from our fire this is really beautiful but we will keep using ev and uh, here there's no emission as you can see we uh, activate our light again our point light i think there's lots of light so uh, we will change it a bit to so select our point light and then we change the color to a more uh, a darker orange orange like this maybe i think this looks good i think i'm satisfied with this so this is our fire it's a 2d fire not a 3d fire so if you go like this uh, to the extreme uh, right to the side it won't look good but if you keep on the on angle like this and with animation and all it will be good okay there's a problem there are some uh, keyframes here i think from the light yeah so does our fire have keyframes yeah it does have a keyframe here because we forgot to uh to disable this guy auto cane so let's disable it now and let's remove this keyframe i hope nothing will be missed delete keyframes no it's okay so let's play our animation it goes on and on and on and on but then you see the image stops so how to fix this the fix is very simple so we go to the shading mode and 
here in this node, the node of our image, there's a checkbox here on cyclic. So just check that and now the fire will go playing and playing and looping indefinitely and everything is good. Okay, so here we go. This is our final uh, fireplace. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, don't forget the full project is available for download for just three dollars if you want to uh, support the channel uh, tell me also uh, please check the uh, video clip the animated clip that I made and see if there is anything that you want me to uh, teach you about uh, what's there in the clip also tell me if uh, there are some improvements I can myself make uh, any mistakes maybe I made in the clip or in this uh, tutorial please check uh, give me your feedback thank you for watching and see you in a next video